Do you know how to simplify the management of multiple Docker containers that need to work together? Well, we have Docker Compose for that. A simplified Docker orchestration tool. So what exactly is Docker Compose? Docker Compose is like your conductor for symphony of containers. You might be thinking, why not just use Docker Run command? Well, with Docker Run, you would have to manually start each container with all the necessary options and that can get real messy. If you want to see a very versatile software stack involving Python, Node.js and .NET in action, stay tuned till end of the video. Docker Compose abstracts away all the complexities. You describe what all services your app needs, how they should interact and their configurations. It's like writing a recipe for your app. Docker Compose creates a dedicated network for your app's container, so they can easily talk with each other using service names. No more IP address hassle or manual linking. Also, Docker Compose allows you to specify dependencies between services. For instance, we can add dependency of app container on database container. Using this mechanism, we can make sure that database container comes up first and then app server. No need of more custom scripts or configuration. Let's see voting up involving 3 services and 2 databases. So in total we will need 5 containers to be up and be communicating with each other. This is official sample provided by docker to demonstrate how our serial docker compose is. This app records total number of words for cats and dogs. Before we dive into configuration, let's understand and see purpose of every service in this stack. We have frontend app to record words between two options and this app is written in Flask Python. This service writes words to second service Redis which is in-memory database. Third, we have worker service which consumes words from Redis and writes to our fourth service Postgres. In this case, words will be stored to persistent database. And finally, result will be showcased in fifth Node.js web app service. We can see how diverse this stack is. Apps written in different languages need to be running simultaneously. And more importantly, they need to communicate with each other reliably. So we assume our three services have docker file ready to build docker image. Remaining two services Redis and Postgres has images readily available on docker hub. I have cloned sample repository on local. Let's begin by creating docker compose file. We write docker file to create single container so we write docker compose file to bring all containers together and connect those using network. At top level we will need three blocks services, volumes and networks. Inside services we will add our five services. DB service to store persistent data in Postgres. Redis service to store in-memory words. Word service to record words given by user. Worker service to process words from Redis and store into Postgres. And result service to display final results. To persist Postgres database we will need one named volume with name DB data. This database will live across multiple registers of containers. We will need two networks, frontier network and backtier network. Databases and worker service will remain on backtier network. Worker service neither communicates with OAT service nor result service. That is why it will be on backtier network only. OAT and result service need to communicate with backend and they are part of frontend. So they will remain on both networks. For database we will use pre-built images, Redis and Postgres from docker hub. For remaining services we will build docker images on the spot using build context. Using depends on we create dependency on another service. Oat service only start after Redis service is up. Result service start after DB service is up. And worker service start only after databases are up. Postgres image needs two variables, Postgres user and Postgres password. Let's set username and password. Ports section help us to map ports for service. For both front-end services, we will need ports mapping. We will expose 5000 and 5001 port for OAT and result service respectively. In our code base for all three services, we can see database addresses have host names exactly same as service names. We no more need IP addresses because of power of Docker Compose networking. So finally, our Docker Compose file is ready. Let's get our microservices up using docker up command. Remember this command only works whenever docker compose file is present in same directory. In logs you can see database container is coming up first and then all other services. Let's head toward our browser and open both OAT and result app. OAT app is running on port 5000 and result app is running on port 5001. Let's give OAT for cats and we can see result is being rendered instantly. Let's change OAT and again we can see different result. So this is power of container orchestration. 
With just one blueprint, we can bring all related microservices up instantly. Remember, Docker Compose is good for tech stack where very small number of microservices are involved. For thousands of microservices in single stack, we have tools like Kubernetes and Docker Swarm. We are releasing Kubernetes video next. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss that video. That's it for today. If you like this video, then give thumbs up. If you have a question or a suggestion, then feel free to comment below. And finally, thank you.